Hello YouTube, you are looking at the reason that I'm making this video. This is a snapper riding lawnmower, as you can see. I bought it about, I think, four years ago from a repair place that the guy who owned it had given it to on consignment. And long story short, it's it's like a 2003, but the guy didn't use it much because this the little handle to engage the motor is really hard to push and he was an elderly guy so he couldn't so anyways i bought it for seven hundred dollars and uh, it worked well for those four years i think it was four and then a couple weeks ago it may have been three weeks ago now it was running kind of rough and i'm not much of a engine guy <laughs> but uh, even i knew that something was fishy so i I checked the oil with a dipstick and it seemed like hmm, something's definitely wrong so I decided I would change it and when I unscrewed that uh, about 80% gas came out and the rest oil. Um, I did it out on our driveway and we kind of cleaned it up and then I brought it in here and it continued to leak somehow. So I was going to get it fixed. I called the repair place and they said yeah we can fix it and uh, put a shutoff valve on the gas line so it won't happen again i never really got an estimate but you know it probably would have been 100 or 150 bucks or something like that so my wife said do you really want to spend your money on that and i said unless we've got a bunch of money laying around the house that i don't know of i don't really know what other choice we have well, it turns out we had a lot of money. No, we, we didn't really. But here's a big reveal. I went on Facebook Marketplace and I picked up this Troy built pony. I don't know why it's called pony, what that signifies. I don't really see a pony in that. Do you see a pony, pony's head? Uh, I don't really see it. Anyways, I picked this up from someone who was selling on Facebook Marketplace. Her story was, this is a 2022 and she purchased it uh, not long ago, thinking that she was gonna go back and forth between this and a big lawnmower that she had, a Kubota or whatever they're called. And it didn't really work out, so she decided to sell it. They go for $19.99 and she said she had bought it on sale and I'm, I didn't ask her for how much, but we arrived at a price that was pretty reasonable. I'm not gonna say what it was because it's not a review about my purchasing acumen. It's a review about the lawnmower. So the thing is with these reviews, it's always dangerous to do it when you first buy something because A, you don't have experience with it. It doesn't really have a track record. And B, you're probably either going to love it or you're going to hate it. <laughs> and so it may not be a really fair review. But on the other hand, if I don't review it now, I may never do it because I'm a busy guy. So I am going to give you a review of this. And then maybe a year from now, I'll give you a one year later review. When I picked it up, the guy showed me uh, how to do it. And it's pretty simple. There's the key there. There's the old jackrabbit and the turtle. Poor turtle. Um... It's seven speeds, which you have to push in the clutch all the way. There's a park down there, which I think it's in right now. So you push down the clutch all the way, and then you shift this into forward or reverse if you're gonna go backwards, which I haven't done yet. And then you uh, let out the clutch slowly. Obviously it acts as a brake more or less, and off you go. Once you're going, you can sort of move this right now it's in park so it can't be moved but you can move that just like by pressing in the clutch a little bit so you don't have to completely come to a stop um needless to say compared to this which is a 30 inch deck and this is a 42 inch deck i'm pretty sure and it goes you know maybe not twice as fast but probably 75 percent faster and it cuts a lot quicker it's a big boy lawnmower i mean you can tell by these tires one of which i think is flat and these have got like real tires on them um, very smooth i'm going to show you in a minute some tree roots that i have to navigate and uh, talk about that a little 
this is the blade adjustment right here. It's on the highest because my grass was really high. So I'll probably, that's five and it, that's pretty high as you can see. Um, so I am going to probably lower that next time I cut. And then you just engage the mower deck right there and it's a very smooth operation, very easy to do. It's got a seat where, you know, you get off and it, it breaks the circuit or whatever and cuts it out and it turns off by itself. There's a cup holder or, you know, you can use that for a number of things. Um, the one complaint that I read, there was a couple, and I think one was I, the person said, I don't know how long it's going to last, but, you know, the whole thing. The other thing was the gas tank. I don't know what that looks like to you, but it's maybe a gallon and a half comparing it to a milk carton. When I got it, she had about this much gas in it, so maybe a quarter, a third, and our lawn is maybe a half acre. I think it's a little bit less, although maybe with a house, it's not even that much. It may only be like a third or something, but I ran out of gas about three quarters of the way through, so I filled it up. So it doesn't have a huge gas tank. I mean, certainly I could mow if that was full, I could mow at least once, if not twice, and it would be okay. 15 and a half horsepower engine. I mean, I think this thing, yeah, that, that thing's 10 horsepower. So this one is way, way beefier, runs well, yeah, goes fast, comfortable. I, when I got done, I left it out a little bit and it just started pouring rain, so I wheeled it in. That's why it's wet if you can see that um i think these headlights come on automatically because i couldn't find any way to turn them off um like i said i'm not an engine guy i'm not a handyman guy but uh i think that's all you need to know although at the very end of this video i am going to have bonus content and i am going to explain all of these icons and there are a lot of them these ruts ruts as in roots obviously they're coming above the ground and so with that snapper I just had to totally baby creep it over there because otherwise it would bang into the uh, you know the blade would would catch on it and there's there's more roots there there's more roots here if anyone knows how to get rid of these short of chopping down the tree let me know it kind of looks like an octopus um, with those little sucker things so anyways, with the Troy built, I was able to navigate these. Obviously, I didn't race over them. I went pretty slowly, but I was able to go over them with relatively no problem. I did not try to get super close to the tree. Wow, now that I look at it, it's almost like is that part of the, the roots or not. But um, anyway, so very happy with that. The lawn was extremely long to begin with, the grass, so I'm not going to give you a review of how evenly it cuts because it was literally eight inches, maybe 10 inches long. Obviously not recommended, but it seems to have done a good job. Maybe I will uh, give a supplemental review um, in the days and weeks to come, but. So it turns way tighter. The radius, the turning radius is much better than the snapper, which I didn't realize how bad that was till I bought it and it, it's not good. Uh, so this is not a zero turn by any means, but um, like when you come around some of the corners, it, you can, well, here, let me show you. So like when I come around this corner, if I'm very near those bushes with that snapper, I, there's no way I could turn even as tight as this. So you can kind of see from the tracks, the tire tracks, how tight it can turn. And it's, like I said, it's not zero turn, but it's pretty darn good. So in summary, nice lawnmower. I've only mowed the lawn once with it, as I said, but I will use it again and again, and maybe again after that, I'll try to do a follow-up maybe a year from now, or if something goes horribly wrong. But at this point, I would recommend it, especially if you can get a gently used one and save several hundred dollars. If you have any questions, it's extremely doubtful I can answer them, unless all you want is an opinion, uh, but I'd be happy to provide one. So leave a suggestion, subscribe to my channel, turn on all the notifications, and share. I don't post new videos regularly, but when I do, you'll be sure to know before anyone else.
Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to start from the very beginning, the upper left-hand corner. That very first one says to buy a shoe and then put it on a slight incline. The second one is take that same shoe and tip it up, and it looks like you need to be putting it on some sort of a lollipop. Now, as we move across in the yellow section, you have to go out and buy a padlock, unlock that, and then using that same shoe, you can go back and forth on the lollipop. It seems a little weird. Number two there is the throttle, obviously, and it's telling you to jam it up into high gear. And then in the lock position, you have to take that same padlock, lock it, then put that shoe down on the lollipop, and then you can move the yellow thing into the lock position. The next one is, is curious because it says, take the key out, give it to a burglar, and let him run away from your tractor. In other words, he's going to steal the key, but not the tractor, because obviously it's a lot easier to steal just the key, and then he can blackmail you for it. Now, as we move down, the little guy in the circle, the blue circle, he's reading a Bible, and the Bible has got QR codes in it. It's a new tech Bible. It's, it hasn't been used much, but whatever. The next one has got a triangle, and that guy is vomiting. He had something bad for dinner, and now, as you can see, he's throwing up. The next one is telling you how to pick up sticks. Um, it is a game, but also, I suppose this could uh, apply to your lawn also. And what they're showing is, always use your knees and don't bend, although he is sort of bending over. And he's actually got a divining rod in his right hand. So he may be looking for water after this. The next one with the red no sign, no idea what that says. The one after that with the green check, uh, no idea what that is. The next one on the next line with the yellow triangle, it says do not run people over, especially stick figures. Extremely dangerous. The next one is saying no squirting people with a squirt gun or spitting at them while they are mowing. That's the little guy in the no circle. He is trying to spit at that guy. Uh, the next one is if you have a marionette or if you're a ventriloquist, do not use it while you are riding the tractor and don't have it sit on your lap because that is totally inappropriate. The next one has the big guy and he's got two little kids that he is just dragging by their necks or their heads, it looks like. And that's something about child abuse. I'm not sure what that is. And then, well, right after that, you can see that the guy is about ready to mow his wife and two children over, which is illegal in most states. With a green check, the kids are inside screaming, dad, please come in here. Mom is making us do our homework. And it's summertime. We move down to the next one. And let's see what that is, is a, uh, a lawnmower going up a hill. And it, it looks like there's a monkey. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think a monkey fell off the lawnmower while it was going up the hill. And if that were to continue, I think the lawnmower would tip over and crush the monkey. The next one is if you have a driveway that's extremely slanted to one direction or the other, don't try to mow it with your lawnmower. The next one is if you are climbing a hill that is greater than 15 feet long or 25% of the length of your grass, you can drive the lawnmower over it. Although you want to stop before you fall off because you can see another couple feet and he is just going to slam right down. Now, the next one is particularly interesting because it looks like maybe a guy fell off the lawnmower and is about to be crushed by it. And this is a pretty violent uh, set of icons here. All right, the next one is you have to be greater than 10 feet away from the edge of the world in order to mow. Uh, the one after that is showing you that if the edge of the world then has water after the edge of the world, please stay at least 10 feet or three meters away from that. The next one shows what happens if a nuclear bomb goes off while you are mowing your lawn or even while you're trying to fill the tank. And that is kind of speaks for itself. The next one is instructing you not to go into a very high grassy field. In, uh, so what it looks like is if your trees or grass or weeds or very small plants are greater than 10 inches, don't try to run into them. All right, after that, it looks like there is a swarm of flies that have infested the ground and they're trying to attack the lawnmower and eventually the person riding it. So stay away from flies. Those could be beetles. They could be flying insects of any sort. All right, the next one is if your tractor is red, which most tractors are, don't put gas in it. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use it unless you convert it to electric, but that would be extremely expensive. But that's what it says, so uh, what do you know about that? The very last one is, if your tractor is red, put it in your garage, and maybe it'll turn a different color, and then you'll be able to fill it with gas and go right back up to that top left icon. So there you go. All the icons explained. Perfectly logical. Makes a lot of sense. Thanks for watching.